Hello everybody, this is Noxeth, and today we are going to be building as many redstone contraptions as we can in five minutes. So this is going to be really like a challenge, kind of like a speed run, that I'm going to be really testing my redstone knowledge to creating all of these redstone contraptions. I don't really have a list of all the contraptions I'll have to make, I'll just have to do them as I think of them. So I'm going to get my hotbar ready, and I can begin the challenge. Okay, and go. Um, so I'm going to build. The first thing that comes to mind is a dual edge monastery socket. And then, we're going to move that onto a... Um, a T flip flop. So that converts a button input, a button input, to kind of like a lever input. So it's a solid input. Then after that, we are going to make a um, an OR gate. Very very simple. The gates I kind of got down. Then we're going to have a AND gate. So, um, there we go. So then, if you have to turn off both, uh, yeah, okay. And then we're gonna have a not gate or a reverter. And this one's really simple. It's just a repeater into a block with a redstone torch on the other side, and this inverses the signal. Great. So we're moving and making good time. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start making some clocks. And clocks are very, very important redstone contraptions. Here's a very, very simple one. Here's a more complex but faster one. And then here's a weird one. This one is called a burnout, meaning it runs for a little bit of time, and then it runs again every time you give it a signal. Like that. So, I'm also going to make a hopper clock. These are very, very useful and very, very compact, although they are a bit expensive to make in survival. So then a comparator, and then I'm going to be able to, I want to make sure that I can turn this off, and I do that by just going like that. There we go, I can turn it on and off, and then I'm just going to put in a piston there, and as you can see, that is flashing. And then I can stop it, and it no longer flashes. Next up, I'm going to make a hourglass. So I need some sand. Um, and then put in, I'm going to make a stack of sand, and then this one is going to need a redstone. And then I'm also going to need a chest. Um, I don't know why that one started, but it started. And then we're gonna need. Is there like something below it? Is it. I don't, apparently, it just wanted to go, and so it went. I have no idea why. Yeah, like what's powering it? Yeah. Maybe it's quasi. I think it's quasi connectivity. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, Maybe, yeah. Okay, that is really strange and I don't know why that's happening. Uh, if any of you guys in the comments are better at redstone than me, isn't hard, then <laughs> I'd really appreciate if you guys explained what was going on. Oh gosh, okay, I am really fumbling. I'm making very, very stupid mistakes. There we go. So now you can turn it on, or sorry, I'm turning the sand timer off. There we go, and I'm gonna. There we go. Basically, like that. You turn it on, turn it off. Six sand. It took you six hoppers. Okay. And I think that's actually the end. We have five seconds left. So that's all the contraptions that we could actually build today, and that's it. We're done. So. 
let's look over all the contraptions we were able to build. So this one's very simple, monostable socket, T flip flop, um, an OR gate, which is probably the most simple of all of them. In uh, this is an AND gate, well, it's kind of like a reversed AND gate, because it gives a signal, and then you turn it, and then it doesn't give a signal. But it's fine, you can always put, use this gate, which is the reverser, at the end to reverse it. Then we're getting into clocks, and we have our normal repeater clock. Then we have our fast clock, and then we have the burnout clock. Huh. Apparently this triggers this one. That's kind of weird. And then we have our hopper clock, which is toggleable. And then finally, we have our hourglass. Uh, it's probably not called an hourglass, but I like calling it an hourglass, because it's basically the same thing as an hourglass. Sand comes down, and then when you're done, you can just flip it up, and then it's back the other way. It isn't as useful as an hourglass, but it's very good if you want to do something timed. For example, you do a maze. This is perfect. So, we have actually built quite a few resin contraptions in five minutes by just my mind. I didn't look any of these up. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, no, wait, oh, sorry, not 11, only 10, because I counted these as two separate ones. I'm going to count that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yes, 10 redstone contraptions that we built in 5 minutes, which I think is pretty good. That's not bad. That's 300 seconds, and divided that by 10 is one contraption every 30 second average. So, this has been Noxef, and I'll see you in the very next video. And yeah, so I'll see you soon. Also, a little tip, if you guys haven't, I am actually now doing a survival series called Serenity, and the first episode is already out. So go check that out, as I'm going to be now uploading a lot more Serenity videos on this channel. So I'm planning to do on Fridays, I upload my normal videos, and then every Tuesday I upload a Serenity video. And then anywhere in between I can upload author videos, but those are quite rare. So that's kind of like my schedule, that may change, that's not permanent, that's just for right now. So if you haven't seen my Serenity... Go check it out. It's good fun. Anyways, see you in the next video.